you don't have to believe in it, but it's just something to think about. But creativity is an addiction. We're always going to it. We're always sacrificing for that level of, oh my God, that was fun. Let's do it again. And then when it doesn't show up, hey, I want to have fun. Let's do it again. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I guess this is my running theme today because everything crashed yesterday. I mean, it crashed. I just feel it in my heart that there was a reason behind that and that maybe I'm supposed to bring these two days together yesterday and today and to see how if in that moment of then and now if things have changed or maybe they've grown and it's worth sharing yesterday I wrote those mornings when you don't wake up in the best of moods when all things don't feel harmoniously something's missing the engine isn't running smoothly the slightest things become fire correcting the mindset seems to be easy right not to falsify the emotion to accept it to say okay today's that day i i'm gonna be a little bit moody doesn't mean i have to put it on public display just acknowledge the emotion don't fight it it wants to be challenged it wants to win the battle there can be no winners because if it catches wind of a personal victory the moodiness increases I've always believed that writing intensifies the awareness. I don't do it to challenge the emotion, but to make visible. I can't listen to it because most emotions are so much louder than the voices of calm. Moving through the storm. Staying honest with who you are so that change can't injure you. And then it all went boom. It all crashed yesterday right here in the studio. Boom. And it's like, well, I, I, did I foresee something? What, what, what was going on? Did I set myself up? Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mass, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I'm not afraid to bring it out there, to put it out there. And I do wonder, though, that when I do, is it serving as an invitation? And I've got to be aware of that. And that's part of the daily discipline. This is the Daily Mass. So part two of this was this morning before the sun was rising. You knew what kind of a mindset that I was in yesterday. And so my thoughts were, are you caught in the middle of a pet peeve? Is, is that what's creating these, these moods? Because having a pet peeve isn't like having a pet dog. But then again, that's my opinion. I've, I've done some research, and I'm going to be very honest with you. I'm, I'm very wrong. I'm very wrong when I say a pet peeve isn't like having a pet dog. Without identifying it, Judgment is part of that pet peeve. It's something that invites uneasy emotions to your thoughts. Although research shows that we nurture pet peeves like pets, it still becomes the danger zone of areas constantly complained about. It plays with your moodiness and your mindsets. Those moments when you feel out of tune and off the beaten path. Getting a little closer to the emotion might identify the situation as about with a certain pet peeve. Now, openly, I do admit to you, I'm not really the upbeat Captain Positive person that I project at the workplace. What people experience is my choice. No matter what could be going wrong, I can overcome it by making it a choice to turn it into a positive. Don't let people inside your head. And if there are pet peeves, identify it to yourself and then walk away. Break free of it. Everybody's got habits. Everybody's got pet peeves. I've been accused of being fake so many times. I love it when they call me out because that's how I fine tune my game. Your pet peeves. What is that trigger? Becoming aware of it is so important. This is the reason why I keep two different styles of journals. The morning pages in the morning where I usually don't put my bad energy, my bad mojo. But I had to get it on paper that early in the morning so I could just get it out of my system. And then you break it down with the defrag journal. And then when you have those days where everything just crashes and there's no way you're going to get out of it. The last thing I want to do, this is one of my pet peeves. Well, I guess it wasn't meant to be. I hate that. No, no, seriously. It really poisons my heart. Well, I guess it wasn't meant to be. 
which is the reason why on The Choice and The Daily Mess, I brought both days together to see if there's a journey, a story, to see if there's a target we should be looking for. What is the pet peeve? I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.